So as we reported yesterday, the Chicago Bears look to be heading north to Arlington Heights. The team has signed an agreement to purchase Arlington Racetrack, making a move out of Soldier Field. Pretty much a certainty, many would argue. Yeah, the property we're talking about here, it's huge. 326 acres. I mean, that is big enough for a stadium for, to host the Super Bowl. And it could be surrounded by a year-round entertainment complex. It sounds like a really big deal. So the question is, what does this do for the property values of the people who live in Arlington Heights, surrounding communities like Palatine? Uh, so we've got Chad Gilbert. He is a broker and co-founder of Remax Suburban and Precision Title Company. Hey there, good to see you. Hey, thanks for having me. Really excited to join you this morning. Absolutely. We're, we're excited to have you because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are watching this and they're hoping, you know, if they live in the burbs, they're hoping this deal goes through. How big of a deal is this to the people who live in that surrounding area? Sure. I think it's a huge opportunity as you think about uh, the suburban landscape and particularly Arlington Heights and the surrounding areas. Certainly from an access standpoint, it sure, sure sets up really nice to not only host, uh, you know, Bears uh, football games and Super Bowl events, but also be a destination uh, similar uh, to what the Ricketts family has done in uh, in for the Chicago Cubs. So, you know, I really believe that, you know, the values will continue to grow in and around that area. And certainly it's a huge opportunity for the community as well. I would imagine on the retail side, the sky is the limit with regard to potential. But I am looking at a, a survey from Trulia. Uh, they looked at a lot of stadiums, and if you follow the game, you know a lot of the stadiums are pretty swanky. In Dallas, they have one of the best in the world, and home values have actually fallen around AT&T Stadium since that stadium opened. Does that surprise you? Well, I think it depends on how you uh, develop the area. So, so if you look at certainly other stadiums, you know, in and around the area, you know, those real estate um options become more game day type entertainment, um, you know, locations. And then, you know, with Arlington Heights, the way it sets up with the uh, Metra uh, right there, as well as the access to the freeway, you know, I think it will continue to do well uh, in this deal. Yeah, and they, they may actually, we might have to see if they make this move, we might have to see some uh, reconfiguration of traffic lanes and some of the expressways out there. This could also mean some spillover business for some of the uh, downtown area. Uh, they, they certainly could use some increased traffic. And if you own a building there or a business there, this has got to be great news too. Yeah, I think all in all, it's great news. You know, it's still a little ways out. You know, it's probably five years or so before we see all this kind of come to fruition. So we'll have plenty of time to plan and get ready. But uh, overall, you know, I, I think it could be really great for the Bears organization and, and the fans. And then uh, this is speculative because, you know, we're like you said, we're at least five years away. Um, if, if they get the stadium that they want and it has a dome, which is that's all the reports say they want a dome because they want to draw perhaps a Super Bowl or two here to Chicago, which we don't normally see. Are you envisioning uh, that also being a big boon uh, as far as, uh, again, retail and, and opportunities for businesses in Arlington Heights? Yeah, I mean, if you look at Lambeau Field and, uh, you know, what the Chicago Cubs have done, I mean, it is a destination uh, place, to, not only for games, but uh, throughout the year. So I believe that, you know, the retail segment and, and restaurants and, and other sorts of businesses uh, will thrive, uh, you know, given this opportunity. All right. Well, this is exciting news for a lot of people who are looking forward to it. And I guess, you know, we're all talking about this very early on, but you can feel the energy. I mean, I, I imagine when you're talking to people out there, that is all they're saying is like, did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Yeah, it, it is really great. We're su super excited and uh, and think it'll be great uh, for the community and, and uh, in and around the uh, town. Chad Gilbert, thanks so much for your insights. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you for having me. Have a great day. All right, you too. Uh